1994, I came here. I arrived in 1994 um, as a diplomat. So I was assigned with the Philippine Embassy to head up the economic section. And I ended up marrying my Australian dentist. So getting married to an Australian was the start of the end of my diplomatic career with the Philippines. And it was the beginning of my migration to Australia. And of course, as a migrant, I had to start all over again. Um, I'm a lawyer from the Philippines, and I had to do some studies to become admitted as a lawyer here in Australia. So I ended up um, becoming admitted as a lawyer in Australia back in 2000. Um, I'm currently the executive director of the International Air Services Commission. The secretariat provides um, work and support for the commission. The Commission allocates capacity to Australian international air, airlines. So if they want to have a certain number of frequencies to go to a different country um, or to increase their capacity to provide international air services, the allocation of that capacity is being determined by the Commission. And I head up the unit that supports the Commission. Um, in Canberra, the Filipinos are generally um, educated, they have high educational qualifications, and a lot of them have good jobs. You know. Canberra is usually it's a public service city. It's the capital of the country, and the agencies, the departments that support the government, they're based in Canberra. And a lot, a lot of Filipinos are actually employed in the Australian public service, like myself. So we've been working um, for the Australian government. And um, yeah, as I said, Filipinos that are, who have migrated to Canberra are generally people who have had high educational qualifications. Um, so they're very highly qualified and they've done very well. They're, they're active in Filipino-Australian community activities and well regarded. Well, um, the president has a very good reputation. In fact, before the election, I sponsored, we sponsored a talk by um, Mr. Amando Doronilla to give us a talk about the presidential candidates. and. Um, you know, generally in the community, there is a high regard for, for the president and for the family of the president, being the son of Ninoy Aquino, the son of Cory Aquino. So um, I know that he has respect and support by the Filipino community. And it's always good for a Philippine head of state to come and renew um, the good ties that the Philippines has with, with the Australian government. So it's always, um, it's always welcomed to see a head of state from the Philippines come and visit Australia. And um, we welcome, we welcome that visit. So yeah, I think Filipinos are generally excited. And um, I myself, for instance, because um, Pinoy was, when I entered Ateneo back in 1979, he was a class representative. I think he was either second year or third year at the time. So it's very exciting to see somebody that I saw back in campus during those university days to be now head of, of the Philippines. So it's, it's pretty exciting. Okay. I, and I just hope that he would have a good visit. And I just hope that with the reputation that his family has, you know, good reputation, that he would be instrumental in furthering the good relations between our two countries, between the Philippines and Australia.